That smells like power right there. What's up everybody? This is Scott with Team 512 and I'm back with another video. Today is part two of the cam install in the Yellow Vet and we are here at Complete Street Performance in Westchester, Pennsylvania. And uh, as you can see, they just took the Yellow Vet around back to load it on the dyno. And we're gonna head inside and uh, see what this thing is gonna make. She already sounds pretty freaking good. Yeah, oh, yeah, it sounds real good. So there's some wagers being placed on the potential power output on this thing. Come on in. Well, thanks. <laughs> oh, this is a nice place you got here. <laughs> Andrew's inside and he's hooking things up and I think we're gonna get a tune here soon, at least a bass tune, see where we are, and then uh, go from there. All right, so it looks like the first pull was 321. Healthy. Pool 2, 351. What do you think about those numbers so far? <laughs> Hopefully they go up a little bit, but it's sounding good. So. <laughs> Nothing blew up yet, so that's a good thing. That's a good, you did something right when we put this back together. <laughs> We're like the only ones without hearing protection. I know, what's up with that? <laughs> Everyone working in here has got ears on. The next next time we do this, because there'll have to be a next time, like we got to do something to something you gotta else. got to bring now. your grand sport to see what your grand sport is. There you go. Yeah, see? We're gonna have to bring some hearing protection though. <laughs> it gets freaking loud in here. Three seventy one. So my C five that had a cam installed and tuned here at CSP. Uh, made 376. You know, we're I'm squeaking not, five four out. I'm not we're saying I'm not saying three. there's any kind of competition here. <laughs> not at all. It's not a competition. Sure it is. One of the good things about doing this is really kind of testing testing our build quality. Testing our build quality, right? Exactly. Yeah. So if it doesn't blow up doing this, so yeah. So far, three poles aggressively. No leaks, no nothing. We're good. Yeah. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nothing so far. I hope we didn't jinx us because we're about to do pool number four. And I think Andrew's going to give it the beans here. One, bro. Right at that 382 I was just talking about. <laughs> I wonder if that's it or if he's going to get it one more. Almost 386. That is insane. In my, in my world of rounding, that's 386. Yeah, we'll go. We'll, we'll go with 386. <laughs> that's insane. Yeah. I'd be happy with that. Number. Yeah. Old Yeller's making some good power, buddy. Yeah, buddy. All right, you guys. We are in the secret CSP lair, and we're gonna kick the door down and check out what's going on in here. Yeah, watch these moves. I'm gonna hit you with the door, bro. Oh, so close, <laughs> you beat me to it. All right, you guys, in case you don't know, this car right here that you see in front of me is actually for sale. Isn't that right? Yes, in many different ways. Either with the blowed up engine that's in it, or with the replacement engine, or 
the built replacement engine. Yeah, so it's like, you know, have it your way, almost like a Burger King type situation where, uh, you know, you can buy it any way you want from here. But right now, it's got a couple turbos on it. But it might need a little work after that. Yeah, it's right? on seven cylinders right now, shot rod. And then we have the red lemon over here. Yeah, which is no longer a lemon. So we're just, I guess we could just call it red. Just call it red. Nice. What year is this? 2000. Yeah, it's got like 80, a little less than 80,000 miles on it. And it's actually in really good shape. It took a little bit to get it there. Let's see how we made the interior nice. It had like all sorts of gauges kind of hanging out and flopping around and that didn't work <laughs> and, uh, like even the trunk was a disaster there was like a hump there and you now it's kind of nice no hump in the trunk nice dollar dollar bills y'all that's what it takes to buy either the red the, we're not going to call it the red lemon we just saw that it's no longer a lemon so either red or the snowball and again, you can have the snowball pretty much any way you want to have it. Anyway, guys, this is kind of uh, the interim period before we get the car out on the road. So they're getting Dave's car off the dyno and uh, we're going to do a little road tuning next. Or a cold start. That smells like power right there. All right, you guys, we're going to head outside and uh, Andrew's going to take the yellow vet for some street tuning and uh, we'll see what happens after that. Hopefully, you know, the, the real test is over, but we'll see. Sounds good. All right, you guys, so Dave and Andrew just got back from the street tuning and I just wanna say that, uh, you know, the street tuning part of this is very important because there's nothing like making more power but not being able to drive the car or being uncomfortable to drive. So after the street tune, how how'd it feel? It had perfect manners. Uh, no issues at idle, no issues coming to a stop, no issues at you know stoplights, nice. stop signs, whatever. Yeah. The car drove awesome. Andrew pull. got on it even in the rain. She pulls. Yeah, pulled pretty good. Yeah, yeah awesome. So. Yeah, I can't wait for some drier weather. So the other thing too that I want to throw out there is, you know, when you watch, uh, you know, dyno tuning on YouTube, a lot of people post their, their dyno videos. What you may not realize if you've never done this before is it's a fairly long process. Yeah, it I took mean, them like 20 minutes just to set up and then break it down again. Yeah, I think total it's, it's been about two hours. Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours to get this car dyno tuned and running the way it is right now. So it's not a quick endeavor. Um, like Dave was saying, getting everything set up on the dyno and then doing the dyno runs and making adjustments and uploading tunes in between and then taking it out for the uh, the street tune. It, it takes some time. All right, everybody, that does it for this video. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Thanks for watching part two of the cam install with the dyno tune. Don't forget to go over to Dave's channel, Yellow Vet 04, and uh, watch his video so you can make a guess on the horsepower numbers. We're gonna go grab a pizza and uh, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and leave me some comments because you guys know I love interacting with people who love cars and Corvettes just as much as I do. Till next time. See ya.